Hello children, welcome to general science class. We all know that Earth is the only planet in our solar system which has favorable conditions for life to exist. Okay, so why I am saying about uh, Earth and life because today I am going to give some explanation and introduction about your new chapter that is getting to know plants. Okay, what is your new chapter name? Getting to know plants. So, we all know that Earth is the only planet which has conditions what are the conditions the oxygen the presence of oxygen water uh, are the, is the major reason and also we must recognize that life would not have been possible without oxygen emitted by plants okay so without oxygen without water and without plants we can't survive and earth cannot take a shape that's why including water oxygen plants also very very necessary so plants are the major source of food as well as uh, source of oxygen also okay so uh, just observe in your surroundings you can observe variety kinds of variety of plants for example in your school grounds okay on the way to go to school you know, around your near to your home so many kinds of plants you can observe and all the plants are uh, looking like same no they have different different leaves some are have some have big leaves some have teeny leaves and some are green color leaves and some are reddish ones and uh, uh, they uh, they uh, some have big flowers which are very attractive and some are very teeny small and some are none means variety kinds of uh, plants you can observe in your surroundings okay so we get to know first what are the parts of the plant okay so why we have to know about the parts of plant because these information will helps to understand the differences between plants of different kinds for example here you can observe this diagram this is the plant one plant so we can easily recognize and you already learned in previous classes what are the basic parts of a plant so here this is the root mainly the plant consists of root stem leaf branches fruit and flower okay so if you observe here so this is the root this is the one of the plant part which is called root root will absorb minerals and water and it will provide strength to plant and it will transfer those minerals which are necessary to growth of the plant same like here the stem so stem here will support to full all the, all the plant body and from that stem you can observe so many branches the branches you can see this will arise so here fruits flowers birds and after fruits will ripe out and we will it will give seeds then we will get a new plant from those ripe fruits okay so these are the main parts of a plant what are the parts of a plant root stem leaf branches fruit and flower okay so stem will passes all minerals and all the water to each and every part of the plant body so here the leaf 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 contains a very very important pigment which is we call chlorophyll with the help of chlorophyll the plant can make their own food themselves in the presence of sunlight so leaf is very very necessary and very important part of a plant and the uh, flowers flowers are very very attractive and uh, we know we, we love rose flowers marigold chrysanthemum so these all flowers will attract bees to uh, bees can uh, secrete their secrete sweet liquid nectar which is called nectar from flowers then during the pollination it will ripe and we will get fruits from fruits when it will dry we will get seeds from that those seeds we will get new plant okay so this is about uh, plants so why i am explaining about plant and plant parts means here the plant parts are same to each and every plant but the height of the plant the type of the stem and the branches which appear will be variable will be different to each and every uh, every plant that's why based on these characters means the type of stem height of the plant and the branches where they will appear 
the, based on these characters we can differentiate plants into major plants into three categories basically so they are herbs shrubs and trees okay so creepers and climbers also we can take but the major three three uh, category of plants are herbs shrubs and trees okay so here what do you mean by herbs herbs means plants with the green under tender stem so plants with green color okay green color stem and green color plants and tender tender means very delicate tender means very delicate so which plants are green color and very small and they are tender we call those plants are herbs okay for example tomato tomato plant is a herb because if you observe tomato plant here so tomato plant the stem is very tender and very small okay and may not have branches that's why tomato is considered as a herb next one is shrubs stems are hard and not very thick stems are hard but not very thick such plants we called as shrubs and in the shrubs we can observe the branches will uh, appear at the base of the stem the branches appear at the base of the stem such type of plants we called as shrubs for example lemon jasmine these we called as shrubs next plants are very hard and thick and tall means height wise the plants are very tall and the stem type of the stem is very hard and thick such a plants we called as trees and also here the branches will appear higher up on the stem okay such such plants we called as trees we can take uh, as an example neem neem tree banyan trees and mango trees so these are the main basic uh, main kinds of plants herbs shrubs and trees so here i given one table we will do one activity then you come to know what is the what uh, how we are uh, why we are saying tomato is a herb lemon is a shrub and mango is a herb okay so first tomato so already i explained herbs are very small and stem is very tender and which are green color may not have branch so here some of the points i given we will observe here tomato tomato height wise very small right so we will write here small very small then what is the type of stem green color yes green color tender yes very delicate thick no hard no so then how the branch will appear at the base of stem or higher up on the stem yes at the base of the stem that's why at the base of the stem you can sorry branches here may not appear okay so that's why here cross then here you can observe tomato is a tomato tomato is very small plant having green color and tender stem that's why tomato is a herb tomato is a herb so like that we can observe second example lemon lemon is small but about my height so that's why about my height and stem is stem is thick here already we are uh, discussed stems are stems are, but not very thick so not very thick it's hard so here at the base at the base of the stem you can observe the branches or higher up on the stem you can observe yes at the base of the stem only you can observe the branches in lemon plant that's why here i given tick mark then the lemon plant is about your my height and having hard stem not very thick that's why it is a shrub and you can observe the branches will appear at the base of the stem so this is a shrub next one mango so mango height was very big so tall tall plant and stem is very thick and very hard and you can observe the branches higher upon the stem that's why we can say mango is a tree like that you can take any some plants any uh, some of it 
plants and you can make one chart which plant we can say as a herb which plant is shrub and which are we can say as a trees like that okay so here one more time i will say plants with green and tender stem we call herbs stems are hard but not very thick we call shrubs plants are very hard and very tall and their stem is very thick we call and you can observe the branches higher up on the stem those plants we call as trees okay so this is these are the main three categories of plants and here creepers creepers the stem stem of the plant is very weak and don't have strength to uh, take any support so that's why they will uh, on the ground such plants we call as creepers for example watermelon <coughs> watermelon plants next to climbers that time when you given any support you, those plants will take support and will straight up those plants we can say as a climbers for example under the climbers we can uh, give some examples like grapevines etc etc thank you